Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina and I'm a full-time reseller. And today we are going to do a little bit of thrifting. So if you watched my video from this past weekend, my friend and I took a drive to a yellow zone of Pennsylvania, which means it's partially reopened. And they had yard sales that were open, thrift stores that were open, and we hit both. So uh, my Saturday video was the yard sale portion, and now I'm going to show you the thrift store portion of the haul and a little bit of thrifting. So before I show you the haul, we'll do a little bit of thrifting at a new-to-me thrift store. It was, I think this one was in, I, I might be wrong here, but it was I think it was in Mifflinsburg, PA, but maybe not because we went to like four in this chain and we were kind of all over the place. So I might, I might be lying not intentionally, but it was somewhere, <laughs> it was somewhere. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of lost track. Like I said, we went to so many different places and towns and stuff like that. So Anyway, I only got footage at the one store, which is what you're going to see next. And then I will show you the haul from all of the stores that we visited that day. So let's get into it. This pottery piece is pretty nice, but it was priced high. The store was a little pricey. This is, uh, I believe it's an American Rescue Workers thrift store, it's called. Here's another nice pottery piece also on the pricey side. So I didn't bother with that. Just kind of checking out some of their stuff. This was a cute little vintage radio. I should have looked at that a little bit more. I don't even know what the price was. Um, but like I said, a lot of stuff was, was priced pretty high in here. I didn't really look at the clothing too much. I was more interested in hard goods. Uh, this is a Noel purse. Not really sure that brand. I've heard of it, but I don't think it really sells for a lot. I like these pottery candlesticks, but they were $3.99 a piece, which I felt was a little much. Maybe if they were $3.99 for the pair. These mugs looked so familiar to me, and I just didn't know why, but I did pass on them at $0.99 cents a piece. And then I got home and I realized they were Mountain Meadow Pottery. These are really cool looking. No idea of the brand or anything, but I did pass on those as well. But yeah, the Mountain Meadow Pottery um, doesn't have a high resale anyway, but I do have a clock from there that I need to get listed. So that's how I knew it and just couldn't remember. That was nice, but it had a big crack in it. Fitz and Floyd. These were $5.99 a piece. My friend Michelle picked up a platter earlier on in the day from a yard sale that matched that. But yeah, at $3.90 or at $5.99 a piece, there was just like no way. She was only $3.99. That wasn't bad. The mugs weren't super pricey, but I'm not picking up as many mugs as I used to. This is just basically the plain glass section. So that is how this store really kind of made room for everything. They put racks on top of the clothing. So I guess that's a smart idea, but it's a little hard to see everything that way, especially if you're short. <laughs> See that big mark on my arm? That is a steaming accident from a couple months ago. I accidentally dropped the steamer head right on my arm. It was blistered and everything. Terrible. But it has healed, but I still have that giant scar. All right, so heading to the back room. Moving a little quick, guys. Sorry about that. 
checking out the shoes. These were all pretty high priced and not really spectacular brands by any means. Um, we went to about four of these stores by the, the same chain and yeah, the shoes were all pretty much priced the same. This was the cheapest pair, $3.99, but they weren't, they weren't a decent, a decent pair. So I passed. You guys know I always have to check out the shoes. I always get decent shoes at the local thrifts near me, so I really, really miss that. I did get some shoes on this trip, but not a whole lot. Some perfume. I think that was Avon. I think it was a lot of Avon stuff. There is a little bottle in there that I already have several of, so I didn't bother picking that up. They don't sell for a whole lot. These were funky looking. They were unbranded. All right, now to the back of the store. This is kind of a neat little juice canister. I guess it says juice, but it's probably a liquor thing. But those little little nubs on it are missing cups. Cups should hang from there. So I passed on that. That grinder is actually a good grinder. If it's new in the box, you can get about 50 for it. Uh, this one, since it was out of the box, and I think it was priced at around $18.99. That was just too much. So I passed on that as well. Checking out a little bit of the dinnerware. Nothing super exciting. Mainstays, think that's like a Kmart brand. Uh, this was Gibson. So just regular run of the mill stuff that you really just want to avoid for the most part. I like these little fish dishes, but I couldn't find any indicators of uh, maker or anything. I I don't know. They were $1.29 a piece. I probably should have still gotten those. These I really liked. I really like the ivy pattern, but they're missing the little cups that go with it. They were only $0.59 cents a piece, though, which isn't bad compared to a lot of their other prices. This was just basically like a Tupperware section, just very, very basic kind of stuff for the most part. That's what I call it, the Tupperware section. <laughs> just all those plastic containers and cups. And I mean, sometimes you can find some good stuff in there, but wasn't really the case right here. Some pots and pans. That was a nice little fish dish as well, but it was unmarked. Here we have some figurines. Nothing really stood out to me. Nothing really spoke to me that I really, really wanted to get a second glance at. More mugs. They really utilized every space they could here. Not really, but they had a lot of shelves. <laughs> All right, so every single one of these stores had a lot of this Loot Crate stuff. And Loot Crate, you can get Vero'd for on eBay, which means they will take your listing down or possibly even even suspend you. So I didn't even want to mess with the stuff, but it was really cheap. I mean, I guess there are definitely other places you could sell it, but eBay is not one of them. 
Although I will have to say, I have sold some Loot Crate shirts before and I've been okay with it, but I, I know there are some Loot Crate pieces people do have issues with, so I don't even bother anymore. Just some DVDs and books back here in this little room. This was definitely an odd building. It was a very old looking building. Uh, out of the four stores I was in, only one of them was like newer and like a regular retail looking kind of store. Most of them were just very old, unique buildings. See, that scarf was $5.99, but it was 75% off, and that was a loot crate item. So this was just another room that kind of wrapped around some appliances. Again, nothing really stood out to me here. Little candle warmer. I don't know why I checked that. I knew it wasn't Scentsy right off the bat, but I checked it anyway. So this room had just some houseware linen type things, some curtains, a needlepoint kit, but it wasn't anything great. Here we have a little crafting area. Also didn't really find anything interesting here. Uh, that was an open kit. Those candle wick kind of um, kits I don't really do too well with. I do actually have about two I have to list, but I usually pass on those unless they're like 25 cents. All right, so again, the clothing, I really didn't mess with a whole lot today. I glanced at a few items, but nothing, nothing crazy. Alrighty guys, so it's not huge, but it's a little something. These were not my favorite stores. It really, really made me appreciate the thrift stores in my area, uh, which are not open yet, but hopefully will be very soon. Um, but yeah, you know, sometimes you see things on Instagram and you compare your thrift stores to other people's and this and that, which I don't really do too often because I really think that we do have pretty decent thrift stores in my area in Northeast PA. I really do. I really think we have a nice variety. Uh, but every now and then you see the ones that are like super crazy, like, um, or bins. I think it's the bins, like the Denver, Colorado bins seem amazing from everyone's hauls and stuff like that. Now the bins near me, eh, not so much. Anyway, these stores, like I said, definitely not my favorite, priced a little higher than what I'm used to. And yeah, I'm just grateful for mine. So let me stop all this rambling and get into the haul. All right, so this one little store I didn't film at and I loved it. It was actually my favorite. It was a little uh, Mennonite run thrift shop and their prices were great. They were great. It was just like, it was amazing. So anyway, I got this Starbucks kind of like a travel tumbler type deal. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. It is missing the straw, but it's gold and glittery and it was a dollar. I picked up this German like mug, Stein mug type thing. And I didn't realize I was just looking at this and I thought it was really nice and a lot of these like I'll pass by but this one I thought was nice I didn't even see this I don't know what that is now I'm thinking maybe this is like a company mug or something I don't know but it was a dollar 99 so I grabbed it and then I grabbed this Ikea bowl 69 cents. I got this for me. I used to have a bunch of these and most of them are broken now. So I picked this one up for me or for, you know, whoever wants to use them. All right. So I did get a couple pair, I think two, I think that was it. Two pairs of shoes. This pair was $2. It's a pair of Talbot's black flats. 
they are let me see everyone always wants to know the size these are a seven medium and they look like they are in great shape i don't know if they were ever used maybe once they're in really good condition and then i picked up these earth shoes they're kind of like a wedge a wedge heel brown leather these were six dollars so these were a little bit more but they should sell for like 30. uh these are a seven and a half so yeah got those i think those are my only two pair of shoes and i did i did end up getting a couple pieces of clothing i looked at some of the clothing at some of the other stores so i grabbed this arcteryx which is the first time i ever found this brand this is just like a full zip sweatshirt or whatever. It's a size small. And what did I pay for this? It was $3.99, but the pink tags were half off. So I paid $2 for it. And then I picked this up. This I paid $10.99 for, but I think I should be able to sell it. I don't know. I'm going to list it. I'm not quite sure. I need to do a little more research, but I'll probably list it for at least a hundred. Um, this is a Bentley and Simon religious vestment academic gowns. But look at this thing. And it's got like these pleated, it's kind of hard. The lighting is making it look weird. But it's not as bad as the lighting on the porch, I'm sure. That's why I move things back inside and I will probably keep it that way. The back is all pleated, it's long. So it does have, it does have a little bit of dust around the bottom in a couple spots. Actually, maybe that wore off by now. I don't even see it. Maybe it must have just been like from being in the from being in the store or whatever. So I feel like this is a really nice piece. It might sit for a little while. I don't think that's something that's going to fly off the the rack anytime soon, but it's a little different. Okay, so then I picked up these Trip NYC pants. These were 4.39. 4.39. That's a weird price. What that says i think it does i think it says 439 huh well that's weird but anyway uh trip nyc i usually have luck with this brand i've never had the faux leather pants i usually find the ones with all like the chains and straps and buckles and zippers and all that stuff and they sell every time i, I buy them they sell so i pick these up these are faux leather they're size 32. I don't know if they're men's or women's. I'm gonna have to look into that. Then I got, this is an Orvis, just kind of a blazer type jacket, but it is linen and linen usually, linen usually does well. How much did I pay for this one? $3. This came from the good shop or my, my favorite one that we visited that day, I guess I should say. So then I found this. I thought this was really cool. It's vintage 1989 Fruit of the Loom. And it is, is that a leopard? I believe that's a leopard. Could it be a cheetah? I think it's a leopard. It's a big cat anyway, so I'm sure this is Carol Baskin approved. It's not a lion, but it's still, and the lighting's making it look more faded than it is. It's not that faded, uh, but it is a little faded. <laughs> but how cool is this? It's, um, it's a size large. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So how much did I pay for that? Uh, $2.99. All right, so then, so then I grabbed two bags. Let's see, these were $2, $2 a piece, and they are 
both vintage coach purses. So I was super happy with that price. Now these are not like crazy, crazy bags. I will probably get like 30, 35 a piece. That's what this kind of style sells for. Uh, the black one though needs a little TLC. I'm going to see if I can clean this up before I list it. I actually sold one like this uh, for 35, I think, I don't know, two months ago maybe. But this one has like some gunk right here, but I think I should be able to get that out off. I think it's just like a surface type thing and there's some around the edges and everything, but hey, $2 for vintage coach. I'll take it. All right, then I got this set of Noritake Cafe Du Jour bowls, a uh, set of four, they're in good shape, 59 cents a piece. The set of four should sell for about $30. And I picked up this Barbie pink label Dolls of the World Mexico. She's got this little chihuahua. Look how cute that is. So I don't really pick up a whole lot of Barbies, but some of these specialty ones can do well. I did look this up in the store rather quickly, uh, and I did see one sold for, I think it was like $60 with free shipping. So I said, you know what, I'll grab it. It was $4.99, so not bad. The box has a little tiny bit of wear but nothing super crazy she's definitely never been removed she's got all the the plastic things in there holding her in and everything and then i got this this is like you know like one of those yankee candles this one's not marked i'm not sure if it is or if it isn't but a lot of times those tags get taken off anyway but it's like a coffee grinder kind of warmer so this was $4.99 pretty cool pretty excited to find that and lastly I got this guy this guy came from a Goodwill that we stumbled upon that was open because all of the other Goodwills in this area all of the the thrift stores like independent or whatever they were all open Goodwill in the one location we were in still wasn't open. They were in training, one of the employees told us. They were in training to reopen with the new protocol and everything. But I guess out of, when we went out of that town to the last American Rescue Workers store, uh, we did manage to find a Goodwill that was open. So I got this guy. For some reason, I thought he was $4.99, but he ended up being $7.99. I guess I only read what I wanted to read. I don't know. But anyway, check out these tags. My local Goodwill, the tags don't look like this. So this is the, the Goodwill price tag for this particular store, which I thought was kind of weird. But anyway, this guy should sell for about 40 to $50 without the box. Um, Probably right now closer to maybe 35, 40, but come Halloween, he'll go for 50. So that's what he's getting listed at. And uh, he works. This is a telco, by the way, a telco wolfman, wolfman, werewolf. Anyway, I put batteries in him and he works telco. Universal Studios Monsters 1992. Let's turn this bad boy on. Look at him. He's got that, that movement going right there. And then you push the button over to the sound. Check those eyes. Ooh, that's spooky. <laughs> the dogs are gonna start barking i better turn this off this thing is so cool so right next to him was a frankenstein the frankenstein doesn't seem to sell for as much for some odd reason but i passed on him anyway because he was missing the battery cover so i don't typically like to buy things without 
a battery cover, especially for $7.99 or even $4.99, which I thought was what it was. So anyway, that is it. That's going to wrap up my thrift haul. <laughs> And uh, so yeah, it ended up being a good day between the yard sale stuff and the thrift stuff. It was definitely a lot of fun. So good to be back out there wearing a mask, of course. I know some people commented on my last video. I did do a post and pinned it in the comments uh, because a lot of people were like, well, you're not wearing gloves. Okay, yes, I was not wearing gloves. I do not plan on wearing gloves. The CDC, which is you know, the Center for Disease Control does not recommend wearing gloves unless you are caring for someone sick or cleaning. So otherwise, I mean, if you're wearing the same pair of gloves all day, you are in contact with just as many germs. They are stuck to those gloves unless you're changing them out every single time you go into a new store or a new sale or a new place. And that's, you know what, when you're out thrifting or yard sale and you're going to so many places, you better have a whole back seat full of gloves. In which case, where are you going to put all your junk, right? So anyway, <laughs> no gloves. And another thing is a lot of times when you're taking them off, you're putting those germs right onto your hand. So anyway, as I said, the CDC does not recommend it. So I'm not doing it. And, uh, you know, I'm still being safe. I'm wearing a mask. Everyone's wearing a mask right now. So, you know, it's all good. I'm okay. It's almost a week later. I'm still okay. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the little thrift with me. I hope you enjoyed the haul. It is so good to be back out there and I am going to be trying to find somewhere else to go this coming weekend. I think my current county should be opening very soon. I'm hoping. I know the flea market, my local flea market is opening the begin beginning of June and uh, I also have some stuff next week that I have to pick up on Tuesday that I bought online uh, from an online estate sale. So I'm excited to pick that stuff up. I will definitely do a haul for that because I don't even know what's in most of it. I just saw a couple things on the top, bought the lot, and it's gonna be a mystery unboxing or unbagging or whatever. I don't know how they're gonna wrap this stuff up. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up. And uh, yeah, you guys know what to do. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.